If you've been out shopping for a laptop in the past few years, you've probably come across a Chromebook. Maybe you've even weighed the pros and cons of possibly getting one. Now sure, these machines are absolutely not going to work for you if you rely on Windows-only applications. But if you're really invested into Google's ecosystem, or just want a secondary device solely to browse the web, they can be pretty useful machines. But instead of buying a whole new device, why not just repurpose that old laptop that you already have? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to turn an old laptop into a Chromebook for completely free using Neverware's Cloud Ready. Let's get started. First, head on over to Neverware.com. The link is in the description. And click on the Get Started button. You'll then be prompted to select an edition. If you're going to use this machine for personal use, then congrats, you're eligible for the free version. Cloud Ready is an operating system based on Chromium OS, the open source project that powers Google's Chrome OS. Now before continuing with the download, here's some info you gotta know. The latest version of Cloud Ready only supports 64-bit processors. So if you have a 32-bit machine, unfortunately you won't be able to install this. If you're using a Windows machine, you can check this by opening up the System Properties panel. The machine also needs to have at least 2 gigabytes of RAM and at least 16 gigabytes of hard drive space. You'll also need a USB drive that is at least 8 gigabytes in size to store the installation image, and have Google Chrome installed on the machine that you're using to create the bootable USB. Now it's recommended that you install this OS on a machine that you don't plan to use for anything else, as dual booting is not supported officially. If you just want to test out this OS, I'd recommend using a virtual machine software like VirtualBox or VMware. I'll have another link in the description where you can download the image file needed for use in a VM. Once you've verified that you have a compatible machine, you'll want to download the image file. You can do this using either Neverware's USB Maker tool or by downloading the file directly. The USB Maker is recommended if you're using Windows 7 or later, as it makes the process very straightforward. If you're using another operating system, you'll have to download the image file directly and use one of the guides provided to create the bootable USB. Once the USB drive is set up properly, plug it into your laptop, turn it on, and access the boot menu. If you're using a Windows 10 machine with a UEFI firmware, you'll need to boot into Windows 10 first, go into the power menu, and hold down the shift key and click restart. You'll then be brought to a screen that looks like this, where you can choose Use a Device and select the USB drive from the list. Cloud Ready will then begin to load, and after it finishes, you'll be brought to a very Google-looking screen, just with the Cloud Ready version info at the top right. To install the OS on your hard drive, click the clock at the bottom right and then click Install OS. A window will come up letting you know that Cloud Ready will override all data on the hard drive. So make sure you have any data on the drive backed up, and that you're absolutely sure that you don't want to use the existing OS anymore. Then click Install Cloud Ready. The system will prompt you with another window asking to confirm, so click Erase Hard Drive and Install Cloud Ready. The installation will then begin, so just let the computer do its thing. You'll want to leave the USB drive connected to the computer during this process. Once the installer finishes and the system reboots, you'll be brought to the same welcome screen that we saw before. At this point, it's safe to remove the USB drive from the system. This time, click on Let's Go and connect the machine to your network. I'd recommend denying the anonymous data collection and then sign into your Google account. And that's it. Congratulations, you just turned your old laptop into a Chromebook. Now you may notice a couple of differences between Cloud Ready and a regular Chrome OS machine, mainly with the Chrome icon. Because Cloud Ready is based on the open source Chromium project, you're technically running Chromium OS and using the Chromium browser. But if you've ever used Google Chrome before, you'll feel right at home as the interface is the same. So that's how easy it is to turn that old laptop that you have lying around into a Chromebook. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to give it a like and get subscribed. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.